everybody and welcome back to Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden Rival here and today instead of going forward in the mission we're going to do something really really stupid it's what I do um, we are going to try and have a look around this level 35 area yeah because I'm nuts. We haven't even had a look at this level 25 area yet, but we're going for that. You know, it's about double our level, maybe a little bit more. So it's going to be real kind of sneaky, sneaky, sneaky type thing. We're not going to do anything stupid. We're going to be really sneaky, sneaky. Probably even go in with the torch off. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to have a look. See what we've got. I mean, it leads on to a level 45 area for crying out loud. <laughs> we are literally just going in, see what happens, and then we're going to come back out. That's it. Nothing else. Not being smart. Not being clever. See if we can grab anything, and that's it. The Rot Warren. Yeah, because that always sounds good. Well, for a place that's um, called the Rot Warren, it's very green, very nice. Uh, we've got some got some common scrap here. We're going to grab a hold of that. I want to hand in this uh, artifact, see if we can get ourselves a nice bit of leveling. Warning, uh, that's a... It's actually... Warning, is that two? We're being super careful here. Look at this giant. Probably been sitting here for centuries. Not seeing anyone. What is this? This giant's a machine. It's got that mimer mark we've been seeing. Does it look like it's supposed to be on two legs? It looks like a... Um... I don't know, like a Titanfall mech or something like that. It's not just me, right? I... I've got a distinct impression we're not supposed to be here. <laughs> but if you don't investigate, investigate this, investigate that, general investigation, you never actually find anything or anything like that. I mean, yes, we're not supposed to be here. I get that. We are like ridiculously underpowered for this. I get that too. I don't care. We're getting free stuff. Maybe is there anything on that? No? Okay. Alright. So far, we're not dead. This is good. I also know there's probably going to be some people out there who are going to be going like, yeah, get into fight. Let's see what you can do against them. It's not going to happen, there's okay? There's an underground complex near here. Very close, I think. Never seen it, but I heard about it. A clan lived in it, and they supposedly left some good stuff before disappearing. Yeah, I don't think we're probably going to do that. I mean, we are here, so... We probably should force the gate open and have a look around. And be ready to run in the opposite direction. Although it does say force the gate. That could make a lot of noise. Hello? Mutant delivery service? We'll let ourselves in. That looks like fence is ahead of us. That looks like a dead person. I'm gonna do a little zip around the outside. We shouldn't be here level-wise at all, so...
Okay, so map wise, that's the next area. We could go on and have a look, but I'm not going to. We're pushing our luck here as it is. We really are. I'm seriously pushing our luck. The fact we haven't seen anyone is worrying me on its own. We got some free stuff, let's just get out. Okay. Uh, right, so we'll get back to the entrance. Uh, we will then stop. Oh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get forced onto the map. That was a nice little drink there. Um, you know what? Probably go down and have a look at that level 25 area. Let's do that. We'll have to go through the arc outskirts. We do have a little bit of scrap, so we might be able to buy ourselves a grenade or two. It depends on whether we can actually travel through this area. There was something in East Outpost, I think, wasn't there? Wasn't there a, a person guarding like a big treasure chest or something? Yeah, there was. That's Hammond's cabin. We don't want to do Hammond's cabin. I'm fairly sure there was someone guarding like... Uh, yeah. Someone was guarding, like, uh, a big box or something. And he was, like, way above our rank. That's, I can't remember what his rank was, but we'll go and have a see if he's still there. Alright, guys, so I've just had a look at the East Outpost. Uh, to see if I could figure out if the, we still had something there. And apparently not. So... <laughs> Let's have a look. Where are we going? We are going to those question marks. So we're going this way. Um, there was some scrap in the east area outpost thing, so that was nice. There's only about eight scrap, but you know, it's kind of worth it. Ooh. But nothing spectacular or anything like that, so yeah, it was just one of those things. It was worth a try. It could have got us something out nice out of it, but it didn't. We didn't get anything, so yeah. Right, that's the lift. We go round the back of the lift. This should be yeah where we need to go. Got a 98 scrap, so if we get just a little bit more scrap, we might be able to get ourselves a new site or something like that. Okay, so this is 25 and the one after it is 25, and there's a something off to the uh, right as we go into the area that's also 25. Okay, so we just basically looking around. We've got daylight. This is interesting. The Iron Serpent. Is it a roller coaster? That could be kind of looked at as an iron serpent. Common scrap. I don't there's only one exit. I thought it was going to be two. Oh, it's a railway line. That makes sense. <laughs> or maybe it's like a split in the road type thing. That would make sense. All right, it's a railway line. I heard of these before. Never saw them. Weird how they're all connected. But they got wheels. A lot of them. These things moved. Something's not right here. Uh, 
Very misty. I suppose that's put in place so that you can't just uh, sprint through because you can see them from miles and miles and miles. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was some scrap. It's not. It looked like scrap. Like it was going to start shining. I think there's a lot around here, which is very strange. Normally there's tons. Rare scrap. Station. Cool if it is. Dead person. Lots of dead people. There's not a lot here. I mean, maybe we come back when we're a bit higher level, but yeah, nothing much here at all. All right, uh, let's, let's travel by map back to. Um, can I can I go up? Can I can I go up now? It's only going to let me do that. So great. Uh, we've only got 114 scrap, so no. Okay, so we now know that the Iron Serpent is down south. And we know that there was something at the Iron Serpent from one of the notes we picked up that was well, it was past it. Uh, also, I think I might have missed maybe some scrap or an artifact uh, back at the um, entrance to the Cave of Fear. We picked up a um, battery from one of these vehicles, which gave us uh, an artifact, and I saw something very similar in one of the videos from before, back at the Cave of Fear, or the entrance of the Cave of Fear. So, I'm thinking we might have something back there we might be able to use. But hey, um, let's have a quick look at our setups. You got four points available. I'd like that because then we wouldn't need to put twenty five percent on any uh, any kind of range boost or anything like that because you get it automatically. I wouldn't mind the movement thing as well. You've got seven points, Borman. Eat organic corpses to restore HP. That could be so useful and a little bit sick. That's not as big as I thought it would be due to the fact that most of his guns only carry him like two rounds anyway, or three rounds. Now, fine, you can do a refill and, uh, reload first, and, but then at least still these with either no ammo or. You know what I'm saying. Okay, Borman, you can now eat corpses. Congratulations, um, you're gross. Okay, you get two armor and you've got four additional health. Let's take a look at inventory. You've got the gladiator armor. If we were to give you the pyro armor. You lose an armor, but you gain a health. I can live with that. And I can work for that for you, Chuck. You're more likely to survive that. Ducks, you're always at the back, so... 
well, you, you're getting the kind of thing, but those two are the ones who rush in closer, so. That works. Okay. Here we go. Guys. You're going to make me travel like that, aren't you? Okay. I've noticed that you only have a certain number of enemies to deal with. So, your XP doesn't go up a lot. House of Bones. We're in snow. Sweet. Let's go finding scrap and stuff. We need lots of scrap to do lots of stuff. That was a really bad song. I shouldn't. I didn't do catch that. what you were saying back there, Selma. Where was Hammond going? The House of Bones. We're almost there. And why, pray tell, do they call it the House of Bones? It's a big house full of dead people. Oh, fantastic. Borman, don't lie to me. You do not want to be doing this right now. What I want and what I need are two different things. We need to find him. So shut up and get your head in the game. Okay, House of Bones. Sounds like a graveyard, mausoleum, something like that, maybe. Undertakers. Mass grave. So we have a bunker where lots of people died because we're getting military vehicles now. Got some rare scrap that takes us over 120, so that means sight. A couple of grenades, maybe, something like that. I think we're okay at the moment. Of course, we'll be very, 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 very careful because we're not stupid. Well, we are stupid. We're following a guy right into the middle of ghoul territory, so we're categoric. Wow, we are getting some serious scrap out of this. Red Plague Protocol. Red Plague Warning. Do not enter. Offenders will be shot on sight. If you are experiencing the following symptoms, report immediately to the quarantine area in Drottinggatan. Red blisters on skin, high body temperature, nerve spasm, paranoia, blood in the eyes. If unable to reach location, stay indoors and call 555-008-922 for assistance. Paranoia. Yeah, I'm never going to listen to you. If you, if you tell me I'm suffering from paranoia, you've got no chance, but Okay, there's a gate just here. So cold up in these parts, I can't feel my beak. Yeah, I've never been this far north before. I feel cold to the bone. Right, let's take a look at the Maybe this comes around in a big circle then. Yeah. That's why they call it the House of Bones. Yeah, that's a really bad reason to call it House of Bones, buddy. power do you feel it let us now gather at the sacred site for the ritual sacrifice fight me uh, investigate the crash site is that way okay we're gonna go back this way The small problem is we don't know exactly what we're getting. There, we've got some bad guys. There. Walking between the two vehicles. Uh, 
there's some scrap there. I want to get that before we leave. Oh, the House of Bones. What a nice, inviting place. These signs are a lovely touch. Level 20, Sect Brother. Uh, Sect Butcher, sorry. guy there's someone else further on though so we have to be careful Don't think I have duck's wings, and I know I haven't got Borman in place, so we need to do that first. to figure out where you are before I do anything like that so Borman you're gonna go a wandering oh he's up there in the building okay I'm going to go up. Let's go and see if there's anything up here we've missed. We obviously had the option of going this way before. No. No, I think we're good. There's definitely something there we can pick up. You can see it. We're going to wait for this guy to wander back and then get him twice. Try and get him for when he's away from everyone else. Oh boy. I didn't know about you. I just heard him in my, my ear. Do have moth wings. Okay, you shouldn't see us. Should you? No. We only got five out of that. That's fine. Not today. Nice. 
way, dick wife. <laughs> it's not exactly the kind of language you, you would expect from a, a nice lady. But, okay. Yeah, we know. We don't really care. We're more worried about you actually getting the shot off this time. Got you. Pull it back as he toes. Three weapon parts. Okay. Regroup. Uh, we're going to take a look down this way. Um, see if we've got anything we can pick up down here. Then, in the beginning of the next video, we're going to continue clearing out. Um, only got a couple of minutes left, so. It looks like we've got three that down building there. The House of Bones. It was a fortress full of tiny, flesh eating monsters called. Students. They came here every day to learn how to become bigger monsters. Now you hear the story. I don't hear the story. I see the story. I went inside and I saw all these drawings of monsters and, and flying machines and, and gross stuff. Scary stuff. Oh, let me know. Get out of there. 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 Get out. Go, 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 go. At least we know we can get him easily. Let's split up. Yeah, we can get him dead easily. Let's get set for when he comes back. Because he's going to come back and we're going to get him. Okay, so with House of Bones, it's a hospital. I mean, it kind of makes sense. I was thinking literal House of Bones, so, you know, mausoleums. Undertakers, morgues, things like that. But hospital. That's where sick people would go to be hopefully made better. Just counting the number of uh, bad guys we have on our little compass up here. It looks like five so far. Which, not great. Not great at all. All right, buddy. I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to kill you. Nice. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I like that. That was good. That that was such a good shot. Right in the forehead. Alright, so we're getting extra two scrap out of that. We've got a Marauder here. Looks like he's on his own. We do have three guys up in here. Looks like there's something special inside on the top floor. So we're going to have to deal with that. We've also got another one wandering around around the outside there. So we'll have to deal with that as well. Okay, we got our work cut out for his next episode. Um, yeah, a bit of a quiet one today, unfortunately. Wanted to make sure we picked up everything. It's a shame that the East um, Outpost wasn't didn't pan out for us, but there wasn't anything there. So there was literally nothing to show you. Uh, but we have kind of uh, opened up two new areas, um, although they're kind of worrying. You know, one's twenty level twenty-five, so. We could possibly survive. 
if we're smart like we are now. And another one is uh, level 35, and I was actually worried about going anywhere near that entrance in case it was one of those cutscene things where you end up being forced into a fight, and we were definitely not going to be ready for that, so... It's one of those things that games can do sometimes, and I just wasn't ready. Wasn't ready at all. But anyway. Next time we will clear the House of Bones and try and find out what happened to Hammond. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like me so, please do consider subscribing. And let me know what you think of how we're doing so far. Uh, is there anything you would like me to change? Would you like me to move things along a bit quicker? Be a bit less stalkery? You guys let me know. I'll see what I can do. But until then, you lot, take care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.